All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Friday, March 15th. I want to try to make this video as fast as possible because the operate the broadcasting system that I use to record keeps kicking me off. So I'm going to try to get through this. This is like my fifth time trying to do this. So just bear with me. I'm going to really speed through this. Um, DeJounte Murray's 9-5 going up against Utah. Amazing matchup. We got to fire him up. Booker, Booker's in a good spot, 9K. I just don't like playing him where everybody else is healthy, but he could be a sneaky play. Fire him up. Harden, we got to see what's going on with Harden. If Harden can't go, we're going with Bones Highland. Quickly, quickly is absolutely in play. Should be shorthanded again. RJ Barrett with um, death in his family. Probably misses. Um, quickly, Bruce Brown, Kelly Olenek. Fire their asses up. Cade Cunningham. I think the FBI found him. Whatever. Now he's mysteriously hurt. They found him with a mysterious injury. Go figure. Jamal Murray going up against the Spurs in a good matchup. They want 8.1K. You can absolutely play him. Vassal's in play. Rosier looks good. Keontae George is absolutely in play against Atlanta. Atlanta, Utah stands out to me. You know I like to go for you know I like to go for bad defenses and fast fast paced matchups, and that's exactly what we have right here. McCollum's in play six point four, kind of sneaky, but I don't think we need him. Ivy, Mitchich, Bruce Brown, Trey Jones, all in play. Trey Mann's in play. Suggs, if you want to be sneaky. Um, Terrence Mann, I don't need him. We don't need him. Brand Brandham's in the player pool. Bones Highlands in the player pool. If he starts, he looks even more amazing. No thank you for faults. No val no thank you for Kretschke and no thank you for Freeman Liberty. Um played us once, not going back that route. You feel me? The rest of these guys um, we don't need at this moment in time. Let's go to shooting guard. Paul George, if Harding can go, he looks he looks a lot better. He's fine right now. He looks better with no Paul George. Brandon Ingram, if you want to be sneaky. Actually, this game should be tight, and New Orleans coming off of a bad loss. So I kind of like New Orleans. Fire up Brandon Ingram. Fire up McCollum. Sexton's absolutely in play at 7.3. Brandon Miller's an okay play. Brad, Bradley Beal's in play at 6.9K. Bogdan Bogdanovich, 6.7K. He's absolutely in play. There's no Sadiq Bay. Him and... um. Him and Murray should do all the heavy lifting. Grayson Allen, you could take a shot, but I don't need him when all the stars are healthy. Trey Murphy's in play. Gary Trent, if he can go. And he starts, he's in play. Norman Powell looks better with no Harden. Duncan Robinson is a little bit sneaky. He's been playing a lot better. Grady Dick, if he starts for Barrett. KCP, if you want to be sneaky. Champagne, if you want to be sneaky. No Gary Harris for me. The rest of, you got, the rest of these guys I'm not touching. You got Marcus Sasser here, the guy that Cade Cunningham supposedly sat for to let play, but we're not we're not gonna open the, open up those can of worms right now. Blake Wesley's been getting minutes, three point three k last five games, 12, 17, 20, 13, and sixteen minutes, seven, twenty, twenty nine, nine, and eighteen fantasy points. So that's just something to put in the back of your mind if you need value. Let's go to small forward. Miles Bridges always in play, 8.8K. Kawhi Leonard, he, <laughs> Kawhi Leonard's healthy again. He, he left He left, He left. left the arena with the worst back pain of all time, the worst back spasm of all time, but the next game, ready to go. Jimmy Butler, 8.4. If you want to take a shot, you can take a shot on Jimmy Butler. Franz Wagner, I'm not thrilled to play, but it's a good matchup for him. Michael Porter Jr. is in play. Sohan's in play. Keldon Johnson, he's an okay play. I don't like playing Keldon Johnson when Wemby is healthy, when when Wemby is playing. Pontecchio, he had a down game last game. If he starts again, you could go right back to him. Herbert Jones is in play at 5K. Hawkins Jr., if you're feeling spicy. Sensible, I don't think we need. Agbaji, we don't need. I mean, they're in the player pool. We just don't need them. As long as they're going to be on the court, you're in the player pool. But I just don't play everybody all right we're about to go to power forward in one second if you're new here welcome appreciate you taking the time to watch my video sorry that i'm speeding through this but having technical difficulties um don't forget to subscribe hit the bell thumbs up the video all that is absolutely important if you're struggling to cash 
You know, the NBA is a shit show. You don't have time to do research. You don't have time to wait for starting lineups and all that other stuff. I can help you. I can send you my finalized optimal lineups. I have different tiers. I have just the NBA main slate. I have the all NBA tier where you get showdowns. You get um, NBA late, early on the weekends. Um, I got all different types of tiers. PGA, you got um, MMA, you got an all sport package. We have everything. So if that's something you're interested in and you need me to build a lineup for you and send them to you, check out the Patreon link in the description. We do have super chats open on YouTube. We do have channel memberships open. And in the goal tier, you do get you do get lineups sent to you. Okay, now that's that. Let's go to power forward. KD 9.6, absolutely in play against Charlotte. I mean, I kind of like two out of the three top guys in Phoenix. Like, two of them are going to go off. Like, I really feel that. I, you just got to figure out which two you want, and they're expensive. You see what I'm saying? Ben Carroll's in play against Toronto. Um, Zion, 8.3. He's been playing well. Jalen Johnson, I need Jalen Johnson to be 100% healthy to play him at 7.6 against Utah. It's a great matchup for him, but if he's not healthy, all we're going to do is play him and in the first quarter get a message, Jalen Johnson headed to locker room. See what I'm saying? We don't want that. John Collins, too cheap. Absolutely in play. I'm locking him in. Aaron Gordon's in play. DeAndre Hunter's in play. He got to step up now. Isaiah Stewart's in play. Kayla Martin, you could take a shot. Bertans is in play. Nora's in, Nora is in play. I don't need Jovic. Um, Jonathan Isaac, if you're feeling frisky. Najee Marshall. Um, Najee Marshall and Mamu, if you if you if you need value at the moment. But like I always tell you, better value will open up if you're patient, closer to lock. Let's go to center and let's wrap this up. And once again, I apologize for going so fast. But like I said, the system is acting wild. Yo, Kitch is too cheap. You got to play him. Wemby, 10.5K, absolutely in play. If I'm playing two lineups, one has Yo, Kitch, the other one has Wemby. Bam's in play. If he can't go, be careful with the Miami starting center because you know they like to pull the okie doke. If Bam can't go, just play just play Rozier and just play um Jimmy Butler, maybe Killer Martin. Don't go crazy with the... um. Thomas Bryant to the world and all that other stuff because that's how you get caught up. Nurkic, I would love to play Nurkic, but everybody's healthy, but he'll probably have 20 rebounds against Charlotte. He's in play. Kelly Olenek, 7K in play. Duran is always in play. If Bam can't go, Duran looks amazing. He looks a lot better. Capella, 6.3 in play. Nick Richards is fine. Wendell Carter's in, in play. Zubat is in play. I'm not high on Grant Williams. If you want to play Grant Williams, you know what to do. Um, I'm not interested in Valanciunas, Walker Kessler if he starts, Zach Collins if you want to be sneaky, Porter is in play if you want to be sneaky, and Larry Nash Jr., if he's your last guy in and you need value, he's going to play 20 minutes because he's going to start the second half for Valanciunas. That's why Valanciunas is so cheap. Listen, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your time. Thank you for understanding. Sorry for speeding through this. Just had to get it done um, before I got kicked off again. Um, hope you had a profitable Thursday night, even though that slate was ugly. I definitely had Josh Green in my DraftKings lineup. And I definitely had Dante Exum in my FanDuel lineup. Wow. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. Check out the Patreon. Linked in the description if you need lineup sent to you. Um channel memberships are open gold tier gets you lineups super chats are open i think that's about it listen appreciate you guys and i'll talk to you guys later ciao